screen. Lord Jesus, I want to thank you. I thank you for this time we are here today. You know, those uh, listening to this sermon today, I just want to thank you, you know, to, for letting me say, to let me speak about who you are and everything you did for us, that we are more than conquering you, because you are. And you think, in the name of Jesus, amen. So, God put these words on my heart today. Be strong and courageous. And I still put in the bottle. Be firm and be constant. So, I was listening. I was really appreciating the last week's sermon of Pastor Kelly. If you didn't have a chance. Actually, I'm telling you. If you have a chance, go back and listen again when you go home. Because you probably always miss something when he's, you know, when we are preaching, always, we always miss something. It was amazing how he was telling, like, by grace you are saved. And if you still want to go deep with Jesus and listen to his words, you're going to even see more and more victory in his name. Because many times we think, okay, I mean, I'm saved, he saved me, but uh, his desires, the Jesus, the God's desire is that we have, we be like a copy of Jesus, you know. He came to give us a new uh, way to live, or actually to live the better way. Not the way as we think, you know, as we are, but the way has he planted, you know, um, the way he's, he's planning, he planned for us how to be. So, how the evil try to make us a slave of the fear, to stop us, and you know, to stop us to run the truth, to to believe in the truth, and to find the way of the life. Many times. By fear, he want to stop us. Um, but I want to remind you this. We have a God that fine for me and for you. And I have a story that tells about one boy. He went to school. I don't know if anybody passed this at school. He went to school. And, uh, you know, the little boy say, you know, when we end time school, me and you, you and me, okay? We're going to see who is strong. And the boy was little. I said, man, I can't fight with you. He was afraid. And every day, the, that guy, the big guy, was telling him, you know, we will be today. I didn't yesterday, but it will be today. And every, do, every day he was going to school afraid. What this guy is going to do with me? Might be today he's going to, you know, try punching me or kick me or whatever. But uh, he told to his father, and when he told to his father, his father said, okay, you tell him that I will be there to pick you up. And if he want to do something with you, he need to see me. And then when that the one day, the next day he went to school like, you know, I'm the guy. I want to see if that big guy wants to do something with me. And when the boy came to tell him, he said, okay. You're going to have a surprise if you try to punch me because my father is coming. And he was like, oh, your father is coming. And uh, he never told anything to that boy. You know why? Because now it's not just that little boy. It's going to be him and his father. And we are the same. Even we keep enlisting the devil to say for me and for you. You are so weak. Look to yourself. Look to the mirror. Who, look who you are. The people doesn't like you. You don't do anything perfect. You don't do anything right. You do only, you know, and we keep listening to these kind of words. We need to remember that we have a God that fight for us. And he is right there with us to try, you know, uh, make us to believe in him. Um, 
This week, I was uh, going to work, and I was looking to the outdoors. And I don't know if you realize that. So every time that changes, they have an ad talking about, you know, a company or anything. But I'm like, next day you go there and you don't see that anymore. I don't know if you feel like that sometimes you, you got the victory in your life. Everything goes well. But uh, that doesn't look like it takes so long. And then the next day something comes to try to take your blessing, try to take your peace. Have you realized this sometimes? And I was looked at uh, outdoor and I say, you know, that changed already. The time passed. You know, did the love of God pass on my life? Before the sin, everything was forever. The peace was forever. You know, because we had this relationship with God. And after the sin, everything has expiring date. If you buy, if you buy something, even they say, okay, medicine, they don't have, that they don't have that expiring date. You still can use sometimes they say this, but... Uh, Everything has an expiring date. I didn't pay attention on the water in bottle, water bottle, but I think, you know, everything you buy has an expiring date. In our life, the blessings has expiring dates. Do you think like, you know, even when God say for me and for you, I'm blessing you, but uh, today I'm suffering so much, do you think this is because it has an expiring date? Do you think that when you are passing a tribulation or when you are passing a trial, that's because a God doesn't like me? I'm telling you this. I've seen so many things happening in my life, and I see people around me, and what we see in the Bible, and I can tell you this. God has a control for everything it's happening. It's going on in our life. And it was different with me with you in the men's and women's in the Bible, and uh, I was saying to someone, I was saying, I think it was my daughter, or someone was saying this those people in the Bible, they are the patriarchs, you know, they didn't have the Bible to see it. We do have it now, we have this privilege that to have the Word of God in our hands. But uh, even that, sometimes we don't see it. We don't search for it. We don't look for it. And we, sometimes we prefer to listen to the words of the evil. Because he's the one who's trying to remember, remind you who are you. He's trying to rem remind you why you did wrong. Or, you know, sometimes they try to remember you how weak you are. But uh, I see a good example on the book of Joshua, I want to ask you, Javier, if you can go down. And uh, the Joshua chapter 1 and 9 say, This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go. So I think we, we all understand that for those who don't understand, Moses was almost, you know, was about to finish his career and uh, giving the bastard, I don't know, he gave to for Joshua. So um, Moses was in an Old Testament representing the law, you know, and now we're going to have Joshua starting to guide the people to the new land. And uh, it's amazing uh, you know, we were talking about yesterday how Moses represents the law and now how Joshua is that means Jesus is the same, is the same meaning. Now Joshua means Jesus, or, or I mean the grace now, it's taking care of the situation because now I'm trying so much hard the way I think. But, uh, you know, now I can see how Jesus is leading us to go and take the, the new life. 
I'm seeing even when I was in my old church how the things was happening in my life how you know I was trying on my way on my things on my works to do the things because now the pastor is gonna be there and I'm gonna show up with my sweet my tight and he gonna see me is there doing things because uh, I'm not going tonight because the pastor is not going tonight so if he's not going tonight why I'm going there you know what I mean so you know when you do things to show the people because we are so worried what they are think about me and they what they are think about you and this is how the works start to work in our life we do things by the work we do things by uh you know they're gonna like if they do but uh jesus it's telling you and me i know who you are i know your weakness as the devil trying to stop you in your weakness that's why he saw. He tried fish. He dropped the fish and said, let's see if he likes chocolate. Oh, no, he didn't like chocolate. You know, you know when you try to get a mouse? You put, I think you try to put everything. You put, uh, I think the people use like peanuts, peanut butter cream. Uh, they, uh, no, they don't like Let's try something. You know, he's, the devil is like this. He try to get you. But one thing I tell you, we don't have to worry about that because we have the powerful man with us, the one who died for me and for you, even knowing who we are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So the, the, the evil tried to convince us that it's by our power, it's by our flesh, it's by, by our work. But uh, we are weak, we fall, we fell. That Moses, he passed. Now is the new way. Now Jesus come with grace and I tell you, are you, try, are you tired to try? <laughs> are you failing much? You failed? Okay, don't worry. Let me give you the hands right now. Wake up and walk because it's by my grace alone. And uh, you know, you can go to the next. I sep- uh, I'm going to see um, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. I'm going to read some verses with you. So it is reading, The first man, Adam, became a living being. The last, Adam, a life-giving spirit. The spiritual did not come first, but the natural come. The, uh, but the natural, and after that, the spiritual. You see, it's amazing. We tried first. We tried hard. Ha, 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 and then we can't. And now we understand that's not because you do, but it's spiritual. We, the, at the beginning was the natural, was Adam, but now it's Jesus Christ. Amen? So the verse 47, the first man was of the dust of the earth. The second man is of heaven. So our thoughts before was from this earth, was by the words that people tell us. You can't. You can't. But now our thoughts go to the one who lives in heaven. Who is the one who is bringing the kingdom of God to me. To live inside of me and inside of you. As was the earthly man. So are those who are of the earth. Are you still want to think as the earth? You see how the earthly is thinking right now? Depression. Everything is going to be bad. But those who are of the earth, and as is the heavenly man, so also are those who are of heaven. You can choose. Next verse, next slide. And just as we have borne the image of the earthly man, so shall we bear the image of the heavenly man. I declare to you, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, no does the perishable inherit the uh, inherit the imperishable. We have a choice. You know, we see in Corinthians saying to me and to you, we can go by what the people are saying for me or for you, or you can go by the word of God. So the next one, I think I said, uh, I was ex- I'm explained what is the word strong mean? Be strong. 
Shasak, that's in Hebrew. Shasak, de, shasak definition is strength, prevail, harden, be strong, become strong. Are you still feel weak? Become strong. Be courageous. Be firm. Grow firm. Be resolute. Be sure. You know how many things are in one word? When God was saying to Joshua, be strong and courageous. Let's go to the next verse. Courageous means omits love. I'm not good in Hebrew. <laughs> he, um, Hebrew term for courage, omits, or, I mean, omits live, literally means strength or heart strength. Omets is a core Jewish mida, um, a spiritual and ethical trail with which each of us is innately endowed as human being formed in the divine image. We are human being, beings formed in the divine image. Even those who consider themselves fearful or anxious can access the quality of omnis live in any given moment. You take it today in the name of Jesus? Even if you don't feel, you take that. We are human beings formed. We are image of Jesus Christ. We are his image of the whole of the holies. We can choose listen to the devil or we can choose listen what God has for me and for you. Amen. Hallelujah. We can go to the next. So I want to, uh, the Joshua uh, chapter 1, 8 to 9, he's going to say this. This book of the law shall not depart, of, um, depart out of, the, of time out. But thou, thou, uh, but thou shalt meditate during day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for that thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So I see God tell him, I want you to have my law with you. I want you to have the scriptures inside of you. You remember what happened here today when the, moon, uh, the screen was out? We can't change. We're going to have some days that we will have no words to read. And we need to have the words inside of our hearts. So we need to realize that, you know, it's no because of this. I, I don't want to, you know, we, we are keeping this all the time. But uh, even being saved. We need to search for Jesus and what he wants us to do. We need to be close. We need to be like, like him. Because if you don't have this, the world is trying to shape us with fears. It's scaring. Things is happening. You know, they release something in the news and, oh my God, now what's going to be? And then we don't go by that. We go by who we believe in it. And this is Jesus. So, Verse 9 say, have not I commanded thee, be strong. So we, we read that in the first, uh, at the beginning. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither to, to thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, with, when, with the soever uh, thou goest. So, we take the chapter 1, verse 8 as a commandment for us. And then we see in the next verse what does Joshua does. He just listens this. He takes the word as we do. We sometimes we listen, but we don't do it. We keep seated. I don't think it's for me. You know, um, we was in my house having sickness in my house. You know, James getting sick. And then the Holy Spirit of my, Pastor, I'm learning. The Holy Spirit of my house came to me and said, you need to pray more for the kids. 
We need to anoint the kids. The Holy Spirit of the house is the wife. I'm t- <laughs> and then, you know, I'm telling you, the women, they always have, you know, the eyes a little more helping the, the, the husband. <laughs> and uh, we need to pray more in home. We need to declare more in home the word of God. We need to pray for those kids. Oh, he's sick. Take Tylenol. Take, oh, Tylenol did the work. What, have, what else do we have? Oh, we have uh, Motrin. Oh, give Motrin. We did the work. Uh, oh, it's because... No, listen. We have the power. Joshua listened to God. And what he did? He sit down, right? No. Then Joshua commanded to the offers. Come on. Let's go. Of the people saying, Pass through the camp and commanded the people saying, Prepare a provision for yourself. For with three days... We, we, uh, you will cross of this Jordan to go into process the land which the God, Lord, your God, is giving to you to possess. What is, the, what is the victory that God is giving for me and for you to possess? It's to have a good life always? It's to, have, to be always on the top of the mountain? No. You know, when you're in the lower parts, that started the process. Uh, I was, uh, it's Hosea, right? But you say Hosea, H O S E, Hosea chapter 6. I was reading this week with the Brazilian people when talking about when he takes the Israel and the stone and smash. But uh, the one who smashed the stone is the same one who is going to heal. <laughs> He's the same one. You know, when you're pressing on your trial, he's the same one when he comes with the medicine, the spiritual medicine, and he go in your heart and he say, I'm working on you. I'm working on you. Because when you come to Jesus, we think like, everything will be amazing. Sometimes, you know, we don't see, but I just to have this peace inside of you, and realize that Jesus, if you if if we are in this trial on this situation, I know you are with me, because it wasn't different with the three men in a, in a fire when they didn't want to you know bow down before the God. You appeared as the fourth man right there and didn't let they they burn it because you are the fire and that don't burn that never finish you know. Uh, Never, I don't know how you say it, consumed. Yeah. You are the one. You are the one, even the fire. He can, he can take you to not go to the fire, but if he lets you go, he will be there with you. Do you believe that? And then, so in Numbers, I think it will be the next chapter, in Numbers 13. No. Oh, we still have to read that. Okay. I don't want to pass what I, I wrote. So, I want to read this in Joshua first. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses, aid, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all those people Get ready to across the Jordan River into uh, into the land I'm about to give into them. To the Israelites, I will give you every place where you set your foot. Take this for you today in the name of Jesus. As I promised Moses, the promise that is in the Bible for Moses was for Joshua and is for me and for you today. Your territory will extend from the desert to the Lebanon, Lebanon, and from the great river, the Euphrates, all the heated country to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one, no one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Just two days of your life. Just until you get 40 years old, I'm saying all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you, not forsaking you. 
You have more? Be strong and courageous because you will lead those peoples to inherit the, the land I, 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 swore to, I swore to their ancestor to give them. So the verse 7, we're going to see the first time, we're going to see three times God saying be strong and courageous. In the verse 6, be strong and courageous. Verse 7, he said, be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave to you. Do not turn from it to right or to the left, that you may successful wherever you go. Successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always in your lips. That's a good thing. I'm going to ask you, you don't need to answer. When something comes to your, one problem comes to you, what is the first word that you say? You have the problem right there. Boom. What do you say? Good. Oh my. I can't really say, I cannot say, oh my God. You need to say, oh my gosh. She said, don't say the name of God in vain. She's always like, oh my God. How am I going to do that? It's not easy to say that. But I'm here today to encourage you, brothers and sisters, that Jesus is alive. And he's telling me in you to keep in our mouth. When something happening, we say, Jesus, I know you are taking care of this situation. Because before I know it, you knew it. Amen? Before I know it right now, he's out the time. He see the end and the beginning. And he know nothing starts from me. It started in him and going to finish in him. He's the one who's going to be done everything. So where are what I mean? Um, have, have I not commanded you? Be strong one more time and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the... For the Lord your God will be with you whenever you go. Whenever you go. So now we're going to go, I think we're going to go to the numbers. Yeah. So Joshua sent two, 12 spies to see the land. We told, we, I think we were talking about this a couple weeks ago. I don't want to go on this. But uh, they came back. Look what they say. They came back to Moses and Aaron and the whole Israelite community at the Kadesh in the desert of Beira. There they reported to them and to the whole assembly, assembly and showed them the fruit of the land they brought. I think it had to be two men to carry the grapes. It was like a big land. Verse 27. They gave Moses this account. We went to the land to which you sent us, and it does flow with milk and honey. He is this fruit. They have the proof. The earth is good. The next verse. Okay. They had everything to go and take taking care of it. I didn't put it here. But are they going to tell, there is giants on that? There is Amalek, Amalekites, that's how you say? Amalekites? We can go. We are like, how, you told me last time, Miss uh, Shannon, gra grass, per, uh, we are like, they, they say, when the giants look for us, we are like, Grace, grace suppers, and they, and they even knew that. I was about to say, who told you you are like this? No, I, we imagine they say this about us, and that's how we feel it. When God was creating this world, in almost every verse, He was saying, "And God see that was good, and that see that was good." And this is when I want to tell you and me today. 
We might see so much conspirations on this world. We might think that, oh, they are doing this for me. Oh, I see this on the sky and I think this. I think they are put some stuff for me to be sick. There is giants on the earth. But I want to tell this. Who called Joshua to be courageous? God. God is calling me and you to be courageous here today. Outside. We don't have to worry about it. I don't care what they are doing. Because if God wants to save us to be sick, he will. If he wants to let us to be sick, we will. But he will be with us. I wanted to try to tell you this. We don't have to be worried about anything. We are living these last days. It's been so hard right now. We see so many things being dropped on the internet. They drop on the news. And that the people are scary. We're going to have a new thing happening coming up. We're going to have this. What are we going to do? There is giants on the land. Yes. But if you go and see, we see, actually we have Caleb here today. Caleb, do you remember when you said, no, he didn't remember. The Caleb is here, I don't think he remember when he said in Numbers chapter 13. <laughs> and there Caleb, Caleb came, I don't know if Caleb, you want to come and say this verse, Caleb? Can you read for me? Then Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said, We should go up and take possession of the land, for we can certainly do it. Did you practice it? Now you need to be on his spot. Because, you know what's going on? Though we cannot go. Ah, we was in this desert for so long. I've been Christian for so long and now this is happening all my life. Have you been this time? Have this happened to you? I'm a Christian for 20 some years. And now this is happening. And then God give courage in you. And they silence and everybody and say. We should go up and take the possession of the land. For we can certainly do it. We can't. God is going to give to me and to you. Actually he already gave it. Do you understand that? He stopped it right there. Actually, it was too. Joshua, God, in the future, you're going to see in the next verse that God gave to Joshua and Caleb. They were the only one who got in the land. They were the only one who got in the land. We need to believe. We need to be encouraging each other to understand that it's no by my flesh. It's no who I am. If I have PhD on this, on that. It's not about that. It's about who is with you. Let's go to the next verse. Therefore, my dear, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let not move you. Let not move you. Be firm. Be courageous. Be strong. This world cannot change what God said to you. They try, but they will not. Because uh, always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord. And I put it yellow, the work of the Lord. You know why? Because of me, many times I thought the work of the Lord is the work when I come to the church. When I preach, when I do, when I sing. Now, you know what's the work of the Lord in my life? Is why you're taking care of your son at home. Is to be patient with him. Is show the love of Jesus to him. It's when you go to your job and now you're going to be taking care of somebody's life. And now you're going to show the love and they're going to say, what do you have? Remember last, last time when I preached about the, the, the little girl was in a neighbor's house? We are like that. Whatever we are, 
that is the work of the Lord. Because now you have Lord inside of you. We go to these giants in this world. And uh, we don't care. We are like David. They are like Goliath. But uh, we have the stones. And do you know one thing? The stones. He, w- he, he wouldn't carry the stone with him. Because God's going to provide the stones wherever you are. Jesus is the stone who's going to mash it, the tower on the end times. Remember of that big tower that is like a gold, uh, silver. Uh, I, I think it's in Daniel, is in the book of Daniel. We're going to talk about the stones in the book of the Nazar, right? The stone is going to come and boom, and then it's going to destroy that statue. And uh, we have this stone. We have because of David went to the river and got five stones and he has the grace with him because five represents the grace and you and me we have the stones to come take our thinking whoop, come on you you felt in the name of jesus who's coming next? how's the next we have it it's because of who i am it's not because of who you are but it's because Jesus is with you. And because you have in your lips the words of victory. You have in your lips the word of Jesus Christ. To say those are weak, wake up and walk in the name of Jesus. If you don't have, I do have in the name of Jesus. I have in the name of Jesus. Because you know that your label in the Lord is not in vain. And the label means your daily life with Jesus, with your family, with your neighbors, with wherever you go, wherever you go, with your kids and wherever you go. The next. This is, I add today. I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. Oh. But take heart. I have overcome the world. And if he did, we will also. Look what comes to the next. I think I did. Take your heart. I, I don't know this expression because it's a different word for me. The expression take your heart implies what? Courage. How is the title of the message? Be courageous. And then I can say to you, take your heart. Take heart, brothers and sisters, implies courage, knowing Christ's Christ victory overshadow all those troubles. It's about him. It's about Jesus. We're going to see so much stuff going on. And if you start to sit down and talk, oh, did you see what they say on the internet? Oh, they're going to do this. They're gonna... Giants. We have the five stones. We have the word of God. (laughs) Uh, We have more. I want to ask Camille to come here. She said she want to. I want to read with you the Psalm 27. It's a beautiful psalm. And I I will ask my beautiful daughter Camille to say the chapter 27 for me. And then we can do the communion. Amen? Thank you. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evil men advance against me to devour my flesh, when my enemies and my foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then will I be confident. One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and send me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me, At his tabernacle will I sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, O Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. 
You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, O God, my Savior. Though, though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over for, to the desire of my foes, or for false witnesses rise up against me, breathing out violence. I am still confident in this. I will see the, Lord, the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord.